Yes, F5J is back on the schedule. Look where we are. You've seen this before. This is Holic in Slovak Republic. First competition in 2022 that I managed to attend, if only just to take these videos. As you've probably seen in the past two years, the world has changed a bit. But things are now getting back to normal. So are all the sports and so is our F5J. There have been a couple competitions already this year. Uh, smaller and bigger ones. This one is decently large, 65 pilots subscribed, 62 attended, and now we are looking at the fly-offs with 14 pilots. Working time will start in two minutes. Forecast was overcast with slight wind, but looks like this cloud layer is still some hours to the west, so we still have broken clouds with cumulus clouds developing nicely. And it looks like we will have a decently good competition. Qualifying rounds before noon We've seen some nice low starts uh, just above the camp area and over to the airfield hangars. I would say 20, 30 meters. So I expect to see the same in these flyoffs as well. Wind is very slight uh, in my back, maybe two, three meters per second just enough to have streamers stand horizontally. Sun is in my back, so my forecast is for the pilots to again fly to the forest line and try their luck there. Twenty seconds to go. Ten. Start of working time in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. The lowest group is where I expected them to be. Touch already over there. So I've seen maybe 10 starts this morning and just about every second one had a touch or a crash or a collision. It's quite crazy. I mean, there's so much space in the air and everyone wants to go into the same thermal. I mean, the whole point of this game is to find your own thermal, right? So I'll 
autofocus is still useless. Let's do it like this old school manual focus. Infinity, that should work. So what's happening over there? I see a couple of planes on the ground, so the one is the guy who had a touch and there's one returning, one more landing already, just landed, second one going down. People running to retrieve their planes. Someone started their motor to get the plane back. Apparently that's allowed now. And there are two guys still. No, actually I see three planes there. Four. So the lowest one is still above the ground. Wow, maybe he will pull it off. Or that looked like a motor to me. No fun. Yeah, that's definitely motor. So, three planes still in the competition. I'm standing next to an active runway. That's what the noise is. Now let's see if I can focus on this guy, if I can even find him. should be in general that direction. But since I have a new mic, I cannot really use the ocular anymore, just the screen. Plane is just above the tree line, and I think he's struggling with visibility. But looks like he also decided to give up. Just making sure he lands on the grass, not in the trees. Big tree there. So he's still flying. He crossed the railway and he's just there. And the tail is visible. That's, that's why it's good to have bright red tail. So looks like first flight done. I don't think anyone else is still flying. And we have like eight minutes and a half to go. Okay, so since we had a touch and that one guy called, called for a refly, I think the rest of the groups then took a risk because they could afford to take a risk 
uh, since the whole flight will be reflown anyway. Yeah, I guess that's it. Let's cut it here and start with the next flight. There's a cuckoo in the distance. There's nightingale just above me. And working time will start in two minutes. I mounted the big telephoto lens since it looks like all the interesting things will be happening far in the distance so it doesn't go lower than 100 millimeters so this is the widest shot I can get but let's see how it will work out and the planes will be really far away I guess the issue will be the vibrations. Yeah, it's practically impossible to hold it still. Operate the camera at the same time. It's an experiment for some other time, I guess. Microphone back to zero decibel amplification. I guess you're not interested in all the surrounding noise. Now there are at least two airplanes also at flight level 3 plus plus. Let's get ready for this start and see what happens. Start of working time in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. I'll just stick to one. Try to follow one. Difficult. Let's maybe pick another one over there. Uh, some shadows have overflown me, so looks like this time we will have some action behind me as well. So I made a bad choice about this lens. But yeah, it looks like planes are now spread all over the sky. At least three are behind me. That's good. Let's fight for airspace. Can someone very low? Uh, I 
here sir was just above me but that guy above me is much higher than the group over there that we are now watching Look at that. Looks like they will all make it. That's how conditions change just from minute to minute. Now I will have difficulties tracking them. But today is May the 1st and I was just thinking I never flew here in this mid-spring conditions. In the past the competitions were held here uh, in mid-summer in high heat, like 30 degrees centigrade plus, approaching 40 at times. I remember only once or twice we were here uh, when weather was like, like really cold for July. But even then, it was possible to fly. Now there's much more contrast. I mean, the, the wind is blowing, it still feels cold to the skin, but the sun is quite strong and that creates a lot of interesting things going on in the atmosphere, especially close to the ground. And this is what we love. This is what we make use of. I'm just now pointing camera in the general direction of where the planes are. I'm not sure there's anything even in the scene, but just about everyone looks like they made it, except for this guy. Let's see if I can get him. So he's there at the edge of the hangar, just above the tree line. He is now struggling. But wind is blowing in his direction and with a bit of luck he will find the lift as well. organizer of the competition came to say hello. That's why I stopped briefly. And now this guy here that I'm trying to catch is the lowest one. Looks like everyone made a safe escape into the heights. Seven minutes and a half remaining. which makes it look like this will be a landing competition. It's 
starting heights were decently spread, I think, but quite a few were really, really low. It will be interesting to see the scoreboards when we are done. Now looks like the main group is slowly coming back just to be within the reach of landing points if the wind picks up again. So one pilot decided to fly forward over the camping area and he is now alone. The rest of the group decided to go down with once more. They have enough time, they have enough height, so they can play around. This guy here has to find something. So I feel now wind picking up. From my left, but it looks like nothing for him. This will be interesting. He's crossing the field. Maybe he will find something here in the open meadow, not there at the tree line. And looks like he got something. At least he's trying. Three minutes twenty seconds to go. Looks like he can make a full time, but he has to work for it. The rest of the flock are really high and coming back again for the second time. Two minutes, twenty seconds to go. I think he's now safe. No, 
Well, he even got a good lift. But now it's time to come home. People having fun. There's lots of fun to be had in this last minute, but at least I prefer to fly a standard traffic pattern in the last minute, starting with overhead in one minute remaining, flying 30 seconds downwind, turn around and 30 seconds to land at the last second, ideally. That's how I do it. But you see here, it's like 35 seconds remaining and planes are all over the sky. Still turning and whatnot. Not my kind of landing. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, looks like everything went smoothly. Now let's switch back to the shorter lens. Okay, this is the zoom we had before. Now we can do this. sure how of what value this is right now but something like this it will be just fine the wind is picking up again there's actually a dark cloud just above us I guess this is the one that's driving the wind it's sucking in the moisture <laughs> and we have 50 seconds till the second start or start of the second flight I should say now I wouldn't risk it very long because it's really cold wind blowing and Three minutes ago I was sweating, now I'm getting cold. Start of working Start of time working in, time five, in seconds. five seconds. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one. one. Uh, Happening. No one really low. Still, but they chose majority chose the other side of the meadow, down the runway, into the wind. That's interesting. So that's now all the noise from over here. So there's a, like a bright patch between the two dark clouds here in the sky, but that's throwing light down very far away. I guess the closest one is that hill and that's like three to four kilometers away. That can't do us any good. No to focus on. Let's try the closest ones. 
these two guys are also the lowest, I believe. So they're becoming three. And I don't see anyone having any good air at the moment. actually have to hold down my head so that's more wind than forecasted that's what spring thermal conditions give you I can guess these guys will be blown away again without finding anything useful. And I have two that were blown to me. They started much further down upwind and are also being carried around by the wind now without much hope of finding any lift. Now as the cloud is as the sun is behind the cloud I can actually see on the screen on the camera what time shooting. It kind of makes it much easier to track individual planes. At least he made it to the landing point. That's already worth something. And next one is not far behind. And one more. Fighting for every second he can get now. Just hanging in the air. This is good enough for a turn, maybe. It's worth trying. Looks like that was all. No, one more turn. So he was just correcting.
head flew off. Okay, I can do without for now. As long as it doesn't run away. Someone is returning with the motor. I can hear that from here. So they are giving up and don't want to walk all the way across the field. So, yay for laziness. Mother of all inventions, or how do you say? Yeah, you could argue, argue that it's also about safety, but you know, on a field like this, it's more about la laziness, admit. I think that guy had enough. And he made it to the point. So, I see three planes here in this direction. One is really high, other one is also at a safe height, and then there are two closer to us that are still fighting so it's five minutes 45 seconds to go and let's see what this guy will do Crows are calling across the whole field from the forest to the runway. That's long distance communication. Quite nice. And these two guys found some good air. That's also nice. have 3 minutes and 45 to do
sun is coming out, which means more thermals really soon, but it will soon be time to land. Looks like two over there, two above me, one more over the camp. I see only five planes that made full time. Nightingale is back in the air, which means it's good air. You know, these birds are not stupid. They aren't hovering above their territory, just flapping their wings, uh, wings like crazy. They also know when the air is good and when the, they have to do less work to stay above their territory. And the song they're singing, that's just like a marking their territory, so it's all a fight. Nothing too romantic about bird singing. And there's another one to my left, and I think at least one more behind me. So yeah, definitely good air. That's one sun does. Okay, one minute. 13 and 10 seconds to go so yeah time to go down boys fifty seconds yeah, with quite some wind I would stow flaps and just get some speed and fly to maybe like 30 meters, three times the tape distance, just stay there and then push it into the landing point, maybe 10-15 seconds before the end of the working time. Okay, looks like nice landings. And we have one more flight to do. If I'm not mistaken, I didn't check. Start of preparation time in five seconds. Now I've changed position slightly to get a better shot on the landings and bumped up the microphone noise filtering. Let's hope that less wind noise gets into the recording. 10 seconds to the last start, hopefully. Start of working time in 5 seconds. 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 1. Now I guess if anyone has two good starts, they can play it safe and go high. If anyone is still fighting for a result, they should do a really low start, like this guy there. He added some energy into his velocity. Not sure how much of a value that is in uh, windy conditions like this. So we now have, I would say, five to six meters per second constantly. And there's a kestrel joining, just trying out the air. Yeah, it's hovering. 
but not good enough. So I often see these birds of prey being curious about these strange big birds circling and they come to check the air out if it's really good. And that's typically an indication. So if bird of prey uh, decides that air is good, then you know you've chosen a good terminal. But if they fly away, you know you have to look for a better one. Also good if I actually check what I'm pointing the camera at. So based on today's experience I already see what my next camera upgrade will be. Probably an external HDMI screen with the shade so that I can actually see what I'm recording. Meanwhile, developments in the air. So on this part of the sky that I'm looking at, everyone gained height, lots of height. Looks like they're all safe. What's happening behind me? Very similar. Planes are already pretty high. Some of them are still circling. But yeah, these guys here that we are looking at are higher. Still, it looks like they now all have good air. Sun is warming up the field behind us. And that's what makes all the difference. Looks like this one will really be a landing competition. So the challenge now is not to lose your plane in the clouds. I don't have a good reference on the horizon to tell how high the cloud base is. Let's say all the hills that I can see are maybe two, three hundred meters above the elevation of this airfield. And clouds are very much higher up. So I think it's not really an issue of a plane being swallowed by a cloud. What could happen though is that pilot loses sight of his plane momentarily and that's just good enough to lose track of your plane and then you start wiggling your comments uh, your sticks and seeing if there's anything strange going on in the sky and then you can conclude that that's your plane been there done that survived This kind of flying requires 100% attention. You can't really afford to look away from your tiny spot that is your plane. And then if you have something like a red tail and then there's like a bunch of other planes with red tail that's super confusing.
So it looks like pilots are being cautious. They are not allowing their planes to be blown downwind too much. So they do a few circles and then push a bit upwind just to remain close, which is a sensible strategy. If there's unlimited good air, you just stick to that location in the sky and wait for the working time to end. Right now the clock says 8 minutes 15 seconds to go. So there's one plane closer. And again, the Kestrel is back. Kestrel is totally unimpressed with conditions here. Not good enough to catch dinner. He's looking for something else. What about our guy here? Looks like he isn't as active as the others, looking for a thermal. He's just hanging here over the runway, minimizing his energy loss. But now he's also started circling, and I guess from his standing position it appears like he's in good air. So I understand this is hard to say without a reference to the ground. That's probably better. And we are now looking almost directly into the wind. And you see that he's having hard times. So I find this to be the most difficult position to judge whether you are in good air or not. Being upwind and having the wind carry the plane towards you. That's very difficult. So what's happening is that the angle at which you are looking at your model is constantly rising since the plane is closer and closer to you. And that gives you impression that it's rising. But it's usually going down pretty fast. So this is a better position to be in. It's slightly downwind. So if just the wind blowing your plane away, you can easily see that it's going down. The angle at which you're looking at your plane is getting lower. And if you hit a thermal, you immediately see that the angle at which you're looking at your plane is getting higher and higher and that means you're in a good air. It's much easier to tell the difference. Okay, 3 minutes 50 seconds to go. Anyone else I can look at? 
Let's try that guy over there. He's also waiting for some good air to come underneath his wings. Looks like he's happy with what he got now. here high speed descents with 2 minutes 10 seconds to go yep so he definitely got something but it's now time to come home Yeah, I lost him. Pity. But looks like they're now gathering all for landing. Yes, 13 seconds. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6, 5, 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, 3 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1. 1. Nice. Okay. I guess that's it for today. To bol posledný let dnešného dňa. Indeed. Ďakujem všetkým finalistom za pekný športový zážitok. Ďakujem časomeračom za celodennú robotu. Poprosím, zapíšte výsledky. A následne po vyhodnotení výsledkov v kontrole bude nasledovať slavnostné ukončenie. Wait for the results. Následne po cirka 20 minútach vyhlásime oficiálne výsledky.